Hey everybody, Big Z here from Side by Side Guys, and today we're taking a look at fire extinguisher mounts and which one's right for you and your rig. If you've owned your UTV for any amount of time, you've probably heard about horror stories of razors catching fire or forest fires getting started from exhausts or all different types of situations where there's a catastrophic event where there's a fire to be put out. And in that scenario, the only line of defense you're gonna have is a fire extinguisher. Um, if you're in the sand dunes, uh, it's possible to get someone to throw sand on the car and maybe uh, put the fire out that way. But when there's a chemical fire or a plastic fire, you're really not gonna be able to put that uh, fire out in any kind of decent amount of time in a way that would save your car from burning down to the ground. So, uh, and we're not talking about just the car, we're talking about the environment around you, other cars around you, the trailer it's parked next to, whatever the case is, there's always a need to keep your vehicle and your family safe. And one of the best ways to do that is with a fire extinguisher. If you're in the market for a fire extinguisher for your rig, there are a ton of options out there. Uh, but what it really comes down to is a few different styles of extinguisher mounts that go on your car. So uh, we'll go through all those today and look at the pros and cons of them. Uh, and then the examples that we have here to show, we'll give you the retail prices on that and the links down below to buy those. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of different ways to mount your fire extinguisher to your car. And uh, each person's a little bit different, each car's a little bit different and uh, hopefully today will help you decide on which one's right for you and your car. First up, we have the Pro Armor Fire Extinguisher Bag. Now, this is a really simple idea. Put the fire extinguisher in a bag, strap it to your roll cage and go. Um, I don't know who would ever wanna use this. Uh, in our testing, uh, we found a number of major and cru crucial flaws with this bag. Um, and it's not to any fault of Pro Armor in that um, the product's bad, but just the concept, the style of mounting in its concept is bad. Uh, so first of all, this bag is made of heavy duty material that you would expect to see on their door bags or seats, things like that. Uh, it's really well made, so I don't have any problems there. What I do have a problem with is the Velcro mounting system and the size of the bag. So if you look at the Velcro, uh, the idea is that you would take the Velcro, wrap it around the roll cage and secure it back to the bag. Um, the first problem with that is Velcro is inherently loose and will over time when you're going through bumps and such uh, will come off. Uh, that can be a big downer when you go for that fire extinguisher and it's not there. Uh, the second thing is we have yet to find a fire extinguisher that fits correctly in this bag. Uh, we've tried two pounds, two and a half pounds, three pounds, skinny, fat, all of them have issues fitting into this bag. Um, even to the point where ev we haven't found one that actually has a nozzle that'll fit outside the bag correctly. So we can never close it all the way. So it'll never stay in the bag. Um, and then the last issue that we have with it is the fact that just trying to get it off the machine in an emergency can be cumbersome. The thing you should be focused on in emergency is just obtaining it and shooting the fire extinguisher. An alternative to just putting the Velcro over the roll cage, you may choose to take the actual strap and put the roll cage through there first and then looping it back over like that. But in an emergency situation, that's gonna take time, multiple steps and multiple eyes off of the issue at hand. And that's gonna, that's gonna take away valuable time that you can't afford to lose. So overall, the Pro Armor Fire Extinguisher Mount Bag is a no-go for us. Uh, the mounting issues, the extraction issues, the fitment issues of fire extinguishers all combine to be a bad scenario. So at retail of just over $30, uh, that would be $30 wasted in our opinion. Next up, we have the Polaris Quick Release Fire Extinguisher Mount. Uh, this retails for $75 on their website. This is a nice little unit uh, to be an OEM accessory. It has a quick release pin uh, with a quick uh, grab red tab here to signal where to grab. So identification of what to do is nice and easily identifiable. Um, it has a pin, a captive pin cable. So on the roll cage bracket, you can just simply put this in that slot. And when it's mounted to the bar, that pin can come out and then hang there until you're ready to put it back together. Um, the pin comes out easily. Uh, there's no problems there. It's a standard pin. The mount to the cage is a one and three quarter cage mount. And you'll notice that the extinguisher mount bracket and the roll cage mount bracket come together only on a single square point. 
You can mount it in a vertical orientation or a perpendicular orientation because of the square nature that that bracket has holes on both sides. So um, that goes together easy. There's a plastic insert in that square to reduce vibration and noise and create a nice tight fit. Um, that's nice, but it will degrade over time. As the weather and the, and the climate around you wear on that plastic, it will crack and degrade and, and eventually fail. We do have a couple issues with this bracket though. The nuts and bolts that come with this unit are different lengths. So if you lose one piece, you're kind of out of luck unless you go to the store and find something that matches it. The nuts are not inset into the bracket, so they, they are not captive to twisting, which means that over time they can become loose because they're not nylocks. So um, thread lock will be necessary when mounting these. And then just the additional idea of more cumbersome installation where you're gonna have to have a socket and an Allen wrench um, to get those uh, locked down. So. The other thing is the, the powder coating on these come off instantly. Um, anywhere where there's flex, abrasion, or uh, any kind of movement, the powder coat flaked off right away. So everywhere where the brackets all mount together and the bolts go through, no longer any powder coating. Um, additionally, these come with rubber inserts on the brackets to help them adjust to different size cages, uh, the different variances in powder coating thickness, things like that. None of those worked. They were all too big. Uh, we had to take them completely out. The problem with that is once you take them completely out, it was loose and would not get tight. So ultimately what we had to do was uh, double up some painter's tape and then put it inside the brackets. And that gave it enough friction to get enough grip to hold tight on the cage. A really weird side effect of poor planning on the bracket designers um, that implemented this. So at $75, uh, if you can get it free from the dealer, if they can throw it in when you buy your unit, great, I recommend doing it. Um, but if you're gonna go buy a unit, I would not buy this bracket personally, even though uh, it does a good job and it has the ver vertical and perpendicular orientation and the captive pin, all those are great features. But in execution, it just wasn't done 100% and I can't put my stamp of approval on it. Next up, we have the Windfall Quick Release Fire Extinguisher Mount. This one in particular is on the one and three quarter inch roll cage mount brackets and the three and one eighth extinguisher brackets. This one's specific for uh, the smaller size, the first aids, things like that. They do have a three and one quarter inch diameter mount, uh, which will facilitate the kitties and all the other standard three and a quarter inch extinguishers. As you can see from this extinguisher mount, uh, this one's really beefy. It's made from 6061 aircraft grade aluminum. It's all billet. It's overbuilt to the hilt. I don't think you're going to find a more beefy aluminum fire extinguisher bracket than this one. They also come in different colors, red, black, white, orange, and blue. Up front, this is one of the best looking mounts I've ever seen. Just in the engraving and the stainless hardware, something I really like about it is all the hardware is the same size. Uh, so installation goes really easy and really quick. There's no nuts to worry about. Everything is captive to the bracket itself. And it does have a quick release pin. So it has the tab to easily identify the removal of the pin and the pin comes out fairly easily. Um, the nice thing about this is when uh, you pull it out, it's on a hinge system. So at the bottom of the roll cage bracket, there is a pin to which then goes in the slot of the, uh, the mount. So that goes in like that, it hinges up like that, and then you put your pin back into the mount. Things I really like about this mount. This mount is so big and beefy with the triple strapping, the solid billet bottom bracket, that it can hold bigger extinguishers. Um, your typical two to two and a half pound fire extinguisher will only last you like eight seconds. Um, people don't really realize that. Uh, the extinguishers don't last very long. Um, and so the bigger extinguisher you have, the more capability you have to put out in an emergency. And uh, having a bigger bracket will allow you to have a bigger extinguisher uh, and allow it to not break or, or be compromised during all the whooping, trail riding, and abuse that you're gonna put your unit through. So um, these retail for 100 bucks from Windfall Mounts. Um, again, they come in multiple colors and they come in different sizes and, and extinguisher uh, bracket sizing. So you have really great flexibility there. And I really found this a joy to install, to look at, um, and to use. It was, it's easy in, easy out, 
and um, there, you really can't fault it. So along with the pivot design of getting the extinguisher in and out, um, there's also a black rubber dampener inside here. So where the hinge comes in and then the top comes and meets the bracket, there is a rubber O-ring inserted into the bracket. Now, what does that do? That creates friction between the top bracket and the bottom bracket and reduces any vibration. So this unit doesn't rattle except for the tags up on the nozzle. So this bracket will not rattle, this bracket will not move, this bracket will last longer than your machine. So if you want the beefiest, biggest, baddest billet aluminum fire extinguisher mount with a pull pin, this is the one to get. Next up we have the Old Faithful. This is what I consider the default fire extinguisher bracket that I recommend to just about everybody without asking them what their car is and what their needs are and, and the mounting points and the angles and, and all that kind of stuff. This is my de facto bracket. Axie Alloys makes a whole slew of things that can be mounted to your machine and they have a patented bracketing system that is comprised of a base bracket and a strap along with stainless hardware with nylock nuts. The nuts are captive in the bracket. You have the nylock to keep everything secure over time and everything is top quality aluminum and easy to install, looks clean. It's, it's one of those keep it simple stupid things that it doesn't get any better than this as far as simplicity and looks. The other extinguisher brackets that we've looked at at this point have all been a single pull pin system. And to do that, you have to have a few different tricks to make sure that things don't fall apart or rattle or be compromised. And so in the Polaris bracket, they had the single pull pin on the square bracket, which is a really nice feature um, that allowed you to rotate at 90 degrees. On the windfall mount, you had the single pin, but with a pivot and a rubber dampener, um, a great solution. Uh, with the Axia Alloys fire extinguisher mount, you actually have a big red handle uh, that you can easily get your whole hand around and pull it out. And it's a dual pin bracket. So um, you have two points of securing the fire extinguisher to your car. And so between those two points, you're never gonna get a pin that comes out accidentally. You're never gonna get a pin that comes out um, by bumping it or yanking on a tether or anything like that. The other thing I really like about this is that it's a big red handle that says pull on it. In an emergency, you're gonna see the fire extinguisher, you're gonna see the big red handle, you're gonna grab it and you're gonna pull it and you're gonna be on your way. With a pull pin, you're gonna be looking for the tether, the little tag, uh, and it might be tucked up underneath, it may have worn off, it may have degraded, and when you go to pull it, it just rips off. Um, those, all those things come into my head when I think long-term uh, survival. So in this instance, you have a solid aluminum, big red handle, you pull it, and the whole thing comes off. In this case, because we're not on a roll cage, these mounts come off individually, but when it's on the roll cage, this would come off as a unit. So the other thing that I really like about the Axi alloys is they have two rubber gaskets around the actual pins that go inside the bracket. And that reduces all the friction, that reduces all the rattle. And these units have been on Uncle Ben's razor, two of them for almost two years. They've never failed, they've always looked great, they've always been adaptable. The only thing that you can't do with this style of bracket is rotate it. It has to be mounted perpendicular to the roll cage. Um, and so in a lot of guys' situations, that may not be optimal. Um, for most people it is though, you can go to a C pillar or a B pillar, um, or even the cross behind the seat and mount it there and not have any problems. The other thing I really like about Axia's system is that because they're using a universal bracket system across all their products, you can get different straps for different cages. If you installed it on your UTV, sold the UTV, went to a Jeep or vice versa, you could alternate the brackets and be on your way. So great solution, very modular. Uh, they retail for about 160 bucks and um, a great solution that I would default recommend to anybody out there looking for a fire extinguisher mount. So, so far we've looked at a bag, we've looked at a single pin solution, we've looked at a double pin solution with handle, and next up is something that you may not even know exists, uh, but it takes it all to the next level. And that's from Sector 7. This is the Sector 7 fire extinguisher mount using their universal clamp mount. So, Sector 7 is better known for their lighted aluminum mirrors. They have the brightest, biggest, baddest ass mirrors you can buy for your UTV. So I recommend that you click the link below and check those out. This extinguisher is using their new system for accessory mounting. So as you can see from this extinguisher, you have a clamp system and then you have the bracket system. 
And so this utilizes the three inch fire extinguisher mount uh, diameter. So that's something to take into consideration. But in that range, you usually have longer, bigger extinguishers. And that's what I really like. This is a two piece system. If you look here and I pull this apart, it's the clamp and it's the bracket. This clamp can fit any size cage. If you have a small one and a half inch bar or if you have a large two and a quarter inch bar, this clamp can extend back and forth to meet your needs. It can mount anywhere on your machine. And because of the nature of the clamp being one-sided, that C-shape will allow you to mount it behind a windshield. So if you have a windshield, a big glass windshield on your UTV and you don't have the ability to wrap a bracket around that A-pillar, you could use this to mount to the A-pillar. Now they sell these exact clamps as an accessory mount if you're wanting to put mirrors on there or anything else on your A-pillars behind a window um, or anywhere else on your machine for that matter. And uh, you can get them at their website. Um, but in this case, they have the bracket, the flat panel for the bracket and it consists of a anchor point and a hinge point. So this goes into the bracket. The bracket has a pivot point here, which connects like this. And then you tilt it in and push the lever down and then it clips in. Because of the square nature of that connection, this does not move, it does not rattle, it does not vary, you can yank on it, it will not move or budge. It is the most secure mount I've ever seen in a connection point. Um, and so to get it on and off, you have this lever. This lever has a pin in the middle that you pull back for safety and then you push it down and it comes off. Um, so it is literally a one movement action. You just grab and pull. Put it back on, grab and pull. It is that simple. It is not pulling a pin out. It is not unstrapping a Velcro strap. It is not anything complicated. Unfortunately, people see this and they don't know what to do necessarily. They just they put they push this, it says push. It says arrow that way, they pull that way. They might not do everything all at once. So in the usability side of things, if you know how to use it, this is the fastest acquisition of a fire extinguisher I can think of. Um, really well thought out. Unfortunately, people that don't know what it is might not have that quick acquisition. They might have to fiddle with it to get it off. And that's the only drawback I can think about these guys. So really thick aluminum, billet aluminum bracketing around the fire extinguisher. Really high grade components. Nothing on this has been skimped. Everything is high quality. Um, and it shows um, at just over $250, this is an expensive bracket, right? But it's universal and it's solid and it's reliable and it's quick and it's easy. And um, you can mount it at different angles if you loosen the bracket inside and then retighten it. Um, it mounts anywhere, it fits any size of roll cage. It's super strong, it's super easy. I don't know a better solution to fire extinguisher mounting than the Sector 7 fire extinguisher mount, and I can't recommend it enough. If you're in the market for the best, this is the one to get. Now that we've taken a look at all these multiple ways of mounting a fire extinguisher to your UTV, let's take a look at exactly how fast it is to acquire the extinguisher in an emergency situation. I don't only wanna show you the different varieties of these mounts, and I don't only wanna tell you which ones are the most expensive and which one you should buy and which one's the cheapest and, and all of that. I actually wanna show you the way that these different styles of mount impact your acquisition time of the extinguisher. In an emergency, it is of utmost importance that when you have a problem, you can deal with it quickly and efficiently. If your bracket is holding you back, that one, two, three seconds it takes to get it off the machine can make the difference between putting out a fire or putting out the insurance claim on your UTV. I've invited my son and Ian over to demonstrate the characteristics of these different mounts. Let's take a look.
Lynn Hodges for the win. <laughs>